Attention train lovers and especially lovers of really small trains. <laughs> Did you know that Tampa Bay has one of the largest model train hobby stores in the whole country? I think I did know that. Photojournalist Mike Hughes takes on a nostalgic journey to see how one family cherishes and preserves the past. <laughs> It's just amazing the realism that comes with the uh, smaller scales nowadays. My name is Dennis Hoffman, and welcome to HR Trains and Toys, Palace Park, Florida. HR Trains is a destination for those that like model railroading or just intrigued with the idea of it. It's a hobby that is becoming more of a resurgence in the last year. Model railroading is making a comeback. Uh, the baby boomers, it was their thing. And we found a resurgence of newer, younger people are getting into the hobby. Since COVID has arrived, our business has increased. We are finding more people have time that they didn't have before. So they've gotten to think about, oh, I love that hobby. I just haven't had time for it. Um, now I have time. And, oh, I can stay at home and do this. Although you have to go out and shop for some of the stuff, but you can still, uh, you know, isolate yourself and keep busy. And I think it brings a lot of sanity to people to have something to do other than watch the news and all the bad stuff that you see on TV right now. They're looking for something creative to do indoors. Model railroading allows you to do that. Build villages, have trains, have your vehicles all around, make it look realistic, have trees. It, it's, a, it's a fun hobby. Not just running them around in a circle, it's creativity and you get to use your mind and figure out how to make something look real. We have multiple scales of trains in, throughout the store. Uh, vintage, used, new, some of our new inventory, different buildings and such that you can obtain that, that are pre-built or like I said, you can buy kits and build your own. A lot of them HO engines and we have a lot of digital engines now. The digital age is in trains and it makes a, for a very interesting uh, operation. Sound engines are uh, now the new normal. Model railroading uh, has a long history in America. Before our interstates and all that were around, we had movement by trains. People moved from city to city by trains. There's a lot of history in that, and people like to recreate history. They do it through scenery and movement of trains and cars. Some set it in a time frame that's modern day. Some set model railroading uh, displays that are in more of a historic thing. It's what brings excitement to be creative and do something that you saw on the roadside, but you want to make your own version of it. So we're kind of unique. There, there's not a lot of hobby stores around in the world anymore to do, uh, say, specific model railroading. To facilitate that, uh, it, it just makes you light up to know that you can make somebody happy with something as historic as an old model railroad train. <laughs> Every Christmas tree needs a train around it the way I see it. And uh, that's how most people got into the hobby, is through uh, a gift at Christmas to be around a tree. And uh, my dad, his dad, they all made sure we had a train. <laughs> and when my firstborn came along, he had a train. The thing about trains that excites me is being able to carry that on. And if you want to take a trip down the railroad yourself, you can find HR trains online for their hours and location.